During the ancient Roman Empire, Emperor Elagabalus, also known as Heliogabalus, was notorious for his extravagant and scandalous lifestyle. Born in 204 AD, Elagabalus ascended to the throne at the young age of 14. His reign lasted from 218 to 222 AD and was marked by a series of controversial actions, including his relationships with male concubines. During the ancient Roman Empire, Emperor Elagabalus, also known as Heliogabalus, gained notoriety for his extravagant and scandalous lifestyle. Born in 204 AD, Elagabalus ascended to the throne at the remarkably young age of 14. His reign, which spanned from 218 to 222 AD, was characterized by a series of controversial actions that shocked Roman society. One of the most talked about aspects of Elagabalus's reign was his relationships with male concubines. In a society that largely adhered to traditional gender roles and heterosexual relationships, Elagabalus openly defied these norms by engaging in intimate relationships with men. This behavior was met with both fascination and outrage among his contemporaries. Elagabalus's penchant for extravagance extended beyond his personal life as well. He indulged in opulent feasts and lavish parties where he displayed his wealth through excessive displays of luxury and excess. These extravagant displays further fueled the perception that Elagabalus was an eccentric ruler who prioritized personal pleasure over matters of state. It is important to note that historical accounts regarding Elagabalus often come from biased sources, such as Cassius Dio's Roman history, which may have exaggerated or distorted certain details about his reign. Nevertheless, there is no denying that Emperor Elagabalus left a lasting impression on Roman history due to his scandalous lifestyle and unconventional choices during his brief time on the throne. Elagabalus, an emperor of Rome, is widely recognized for his controversial lifestyle and disregard for traditional Roman values and customs. One aspect that drew significant attention was his open engagement in relationships with both men and women. However, what particularly stood out was his preference for male concubines. These concubines were carefully chosen from diverse social backgrounds and often held positions of power within the emperor's court. This unconventional behavior challenged societal norms and sparked discussions about gender roles and sexual preferences during that era. The relationship between Elagabalus and his male concubines challenged societal norms and caused outrage among conservative factions of Roman society. It is believed that these relationships were not only based on physical attraction, but also served as a means to consolidate power and influence within the empire. During the ancient Roman era, particularly during the reign of Emperor Elagabalus, there was a notable difference in the understanding and acceptance of sexuality compared to modern times. While Elagabalus's personal life has been subject to controversy and scrutiny, it is important to consider the cultural context of ancient Rome. In contrast to contemporary notions of sexual orientation, the concept as we understand it today did not exist during this period. The Romans held a more fluid understanding of sexuality, which encompassed a broader range of behaviors and relationships beyond what we might now classify as heterosexuality or homosexuality. The prevailing attitudes towards sexuality in ancient Rome were influenced by various factors, including societal norms, religious beliefs, and cultural practices. In Roman society, sexual behavior was often seen as a matter of personal preference rather than being strictly defined by fixed categories or labels. It was not uncommon for individuals to engage in relationships with people of both sexes without facing significant social stigma. This fluidity in sexual expression allowed for a more diverse range of experiences and interactions within Roman society. Furthermore, Roman culture acknowledged and celebrated certain forms of same-sex relationships. For instance, pederasty, an intimate relationship between an adult male, the Erastes, and an adolescent boy, the Aramanos, was considered acceptable within certain social circles. This practice existed within a particular framework that included mentorship, guidance, and education. It is crucial to approach our understanding of ancient Rome's views on sexuality with historical context in mind. The absence of modern concepts, such as sexual orientation, should not be interpreted as an absence or denial of diverse sexual experiences within the civilization. In conclusion, while controversies surrounding figures like Elagabalus may shed light on specific instances or individuals from ancient Rome's history, it is important to recognize that their personal lives do not define the broader societal attitudes towards sexuality during this time period. Ancient Rome had a more fluid understanding of sexuality compared to the modern understanding, and it is essential to acknowledge the differences in cultural perspectives when examining historical contexts. Elagabalus's reign came to an abrupt end when he was assassinated at the age of 18. His tumultuous rule left a lasting impact on Roman history, serving as a reminder of the complexities surrounding power, sexuality, 
and societal expectations in ancient Rome. Elagabalus, the Roman emperor who ascended to power at a young age, experienced a brief but turbulent reign that ultimately ended in his assassination at the age of 18. His rule left a lasting impact on Roman history, serving as a poignant reminder of the intricate dynamics surrounding power, sexuality, and societal expectations in ancient Rome. Elagabalus, originally named Varius Avidus Bassianus, assumed the throne in 218 CE. Despite his short tenure as emperor, he quickly gained notoriety for his controversial actions and disregard for traditional Roman values. One of the most significant aspects of Elagabalus' reign was his promotion and worship of the Syrian god Elagabal, also known as Sol Invictus. This attempt to elevate an eastern deity above traditional Roman gods created widespread discontent among both the political elite and the religious establishment. Furthermore, Elagabalus' personal life became a subject of scandal and controversy. He engaged in practices that were deemed socially unacceptable by Roman standards at the time. This included marrying multiple spouses simultaneously and displaying open affection towards male lovers. Such behavior challenged societal norms surrounding sexuality within ancient Rome. The combination of Elagabalus' disregard for established religious practices and his unconventional personal life ultimately led to deep unrest among various factions within society. As a result, a plot was formed against him by members of the Praetorian Guard. In 222 CE, Elagabalus was assassinated alongside his mother, Julia Soamius, during an upheaval that saw another emperor rise to power. Despite its brevity, Elagabalus' reign serves as an important reminder of how power dynamics can shape history. His reign highlights how individuals who deviate from societal expectations can face opposition and even meet tragic ends. Additionally, it underscores the complexities surrounding sexuality in ancient Rome and how it intersected with politics and public perception. In conclusion, Elagabalus' reign and subsequent assassination at a young age left an indelible mark on Roman history. His tumultuous rule serves as a reminder of the intricate relationship between power, sexuality, and societal expectations in ancient Rome. By examining this period, we gain valuable insights into the complexities of human nature and the dynamics that shape historical events.